G'day guys, Kempy here from Queensland Solar and Lighting. Today I thought I'd do a video titled The Problem with Cheap Chinese Inverters in 2024. The reason why I'm doing a video titled this because there's many people thinking um, are cheap Chinese inverters any good in 2024? Are cheap Chinese inverters reliable? Is it okay to buy a cheap inverter cheap solar inverter in 2024 all right so why is it titled the problem with cheap chinese inverters in 2024 there's a problem because they're too good okay so they're too good so the error in this logic here because you're thinking what are you on about is the fact that i'm selling a cheap chinese inverter and so is a cheap company right Cheap national companies, how do they do it? They need, they can't use, you know, their reviews because they've got terrible reviews. They can't use installation uh, because they just hire usually new guys who do the bad installs, um, which you can clearly see from the reviews. Uh, customer support and service warranty, you can clearly see from the reviews they don't do this. How they get the people with the cherry price, okay? That's how they do it. If you have a good price and you and you're keen to just you know engage in any installer to do the job for Tom, Dick, or Harry, scattered all over the place, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland, WA, um, you know, you can't, your quality control can't be too good. Just like a small Brisbane outfit such as ourselves, like I have no. That would be terrible for me to do something in Sydney or Melbourne. Uh, but these guys, yeah, how do they get the great price? By using a cheap Chinese inverter. And then the problem is, while cheap Chinese inverters have improved like you would not believe since around 2017, um, they still break. Very rarely, but they do break. And when they break, you need someone like me or you know a customer service person which seems to not exist at these bigger uh, outfits that run on ultra thin margins um, you need someone like them to liaise with the manufacturer the solar inverter manufacturer and the actual broken inverter at your place and it's a bit of a process it's not fun to do but we have to do it uh, because that's what we do that's why we have only five star reviews from all installed customers that's how we want it to happen if i didn't care about that well then i'd just go help for leather just like everyone else and just pump them out but i'm not that's not me that's not what i want to do that's not what a customer wants to feel that that chooses you know a small long time lasting 10 year plus solar company they they want to be dealt with well the problem is with the cheap chinese inverters they get tarnished by these upset customers who go online and write reviews about the product when the truth is fronius fails sma fails solar edge definitely fails and phase fail they all fail all these top end non-chinese uh inverters they all fail but the thing is the cheap companies don't use them so when the uh, customer, you know, goes online and, and starts getting angry, they're, they're firing up at the inverter that broke. Whereas the inverter that broke, you know, Sam had a Fronius that broke, but his company that sold it definitely went out and fixed it because they're selling Fronius. The problem is when I try to sell a cheaper inverter such as GrowWatt, which is our favourite, which has less failures than we've had with... Uh, Erroneous, would you believe uh, I go and fix it so then all they're all happy but all these people that are complaining they're 99% they don't understand that they'd be complaining about if you know the great national company sold them a Fronius and and that would break then the, then they'd be upset at Fronius too but guess what for 2899 you're never gonna get a Fronius so that never happens so the idea is if you're good, like such as ourselves, you're in this club that only sells the good stuff and then that's how that gets 
you know they're on, they're always going to support their stuff whether it works too well or not the problem is the chinese inverters work that good as well um in terms of reliability that yeah when they do break because they all do break then you've got noisy customers at a scale of a national level and that's it man so around 2017 what happened was uh the next generation of inverters come in from china because previous to that they were all just honestly dog shit you had to sell a fronius um or a sma and that's what we did 90 percent of our sales were all fronius sma and then you know we, we'd sell a handful of the cheaper chinese inverters ever solar it was at the time and then a few years had, had passed and we're like hey these aren't failing at all like the old grow watts the old soul axes um you know the first generation chinese horrendous inverters so then you uh around 2020 2021 we we flipped and uh the support was even great when when they did fail and and only very rarely like i said a handful of times a year then we flipped and said oh let, let's offer the cheap chinese inverters because they're just going to save our customers you know a thousand dollars so so we did that and then because it takes a few years for you to realize so around 2020 2021 we've, we've been doing that but it's just getting harder because people just see the reviews and they think that they can't compare it's not uh, it's not the inverter necessarily that's breaking they all break it's the the warranty and after service that you need and that's provided by people that you know are in the boys club selling the more expensive stuff which i should just go and join again and make my life easier um the other thing is sun grow seems to be the golden child of all chinese inverters so you'll get a lot of customers you know you'll say you know i got we've, we've got a grow one on here um we've been using it for you know six seven years now i've been to grow what uh in in shenzhen china seeing the factory they've looked after me there uh we we were given the privilege to install the first 10 kilowatt single phase inverter here in australia um looked after us here in australia very well i have a very good relationship with grow what a few break a year you can count on one hand how many warranty issues i do a year and it's all done they say thank you campy thanks for the support boom boom i don't have that if i go and sell a sun grow or a solax i'm just you know another solar installer trying to do a warranty claim and it works fine usually you know um but the thing is when sun grow entered the market they weren't involved in the first generation of chinese inverters that just fell over like flies they were the first chinese inverter to come in and do it properly and just not break okay so because of that their stock went up their value went up and you're paying you know five six hundred bucks more now between a sun grow and a grow what just because of the sun grow name because grow what's name is and forever will be tarnished from their first generation they've been around since like 2011 in australia and um the inverter was absolute dog shit uh their first one uh same with solax solax had a very bad inverter very bad big companies installing a lot of them name got tarnished uh their batteries as well i think they got recalled fires or whatever tarnished so these guys who you know they're punished for being early but they should have made a better product earlier um and then sun grow someone just comes in and goes we got it but the thing is by that by the time sun grow had come in with with a good product you know grow what solax um zeva solar around the same time they all had the same good product so now you can get a handful of them uh, as you can see here you've all these reviews uh, you punch it in 4.2 uh for a solax which is one of the cheapest inversion you get good we they're very similar to um sun grow in the fact that a lot of people want them 
once again they come in with an unblemished previous track record uh fronius 4.8 no real different no a good wee 4.7 there's a thousand dollars difference there right there for you grow what 4.4 and like i said early on would have been terrible um there you go a lot of five star reviews a lot of people remember they they write something in and they've had it for three days <laughs> given a five star review so take them all with a grain of salt um but yeah you want to look at the one star review and see um see what they're exactly talking about there and usually you'll you'll see it'll be see look they've had a lot of models over the years grow up um same thing the guy wrote about them saying they've been in australia forever uh they seem to be going good they're we're, they're always here but no one they're always at the you know the big all energy australia conferences and everything they've always been good sponsors up there with sun growing good we they just copper beating because of what they initially did and the fact that people install them and not do the warranty for the customer and the customer is furious at the solar inverter this did this broke you just never hear enough about the fronius breakages because they're all sold by good people you know not that's not the case with uh grow what or solax uh sun grow have put their price now where they're in the club of of the good people uh selling that's why it comes down to not necessarily your inverter at all because that's the problem with chinese inverters they're all good it's to do with the installer the, the solar business you're buying it from all right so you can see monitoring software is very poor that you'll get one star reviews across all inverters with monitoring their servers have to bounce you know to taiwan to china to austria and that's a big problem uh yeah tried many times from installer to manufacturer sales distributor constant hand me over and no responsibility taken that is what i'm talking about so the guy goes and throws a one-star review grow what can't be held responsible not just grow what but others can't be held responsible for the to do the an electrician's job they've only got to do their bit support the customer and they do and they do otherwise guys why would i sell cheap chinese inverters it's going to cost me in the end i've been going 11 years i want to go another 11 years you know and and the reason why i do sell it over afronius for example i just honestly want to save the customer a bit of money and i get better support just because i am you know known as a you know the number one grow what seller here in australia we have a good relationship it's just easier for me and the other thing is fronius uh, and these other high end products they've also they also do uh have a purpose as well uh sometimes um because they are more high tech it's china china is catching up with them so in some cases you do need a fronius just because you need you know the the installation warrants that it's a difficult insul installation so you need you know an, an end phase inverter or a fronius inverter or you want the best batteries fronius byd uh, have been looking very good for a couple of years now a few years um whereas the chinese are now starting to look you know a lot better than they had done pre in the five years previous uh in terms of their batteries and inverters you know still am i touching it yet not just yet because i, I still need to see some proof but that that's what a lot of these people are complaining about if you go and read it it's yes the warranty issue is a problem but it's because it's not because of the manufacturer it's because of the, the communication between the manufacturer the solar installation company and let's face it a lot of it can be to do with the solar installers not even uh connecting them up properly so sometimes the cheap chinese inverter company said you didn't install that how you should have therefore the warranty is voided then the customer on the end of that furious they're not getting any warranty support and all they just think is you know they got evil eyes out there for for the solar inverter company that's done 
you know, if you do your job properly, you're like me and you have nothing but praise for for these companies that, that are around and offer support. So, you know, I know I've rambled on here, but I've just, I've just got to tell you, they're all reliable as each other and as helpful as one another. Honestly, if you put them all out, that that's just it. But your your solar installer that you nominate to do the job will have their favourites, and that's because we've all built relationships with these businesses. You know, panel manufacturers, solar inverter manufacturers, wholesalers where we get it from over a period of time, so we have a good relationship. And unless you can talk to like a business owner like myself or someone that actually goes in and does this get your system all working as as best as you can you're just going to be buying from a national company and they do not help generally the national companies are well known for and you can look at all the reviews they're not known for doing customer service they're known for selling cheap inverters cheap panels at a cheap price and down the name of inverters and stuff like that so that's that's so that's the problem with cheap solar inverters in 2024 are they any good yes they're fine if they weren't any good a good company like myself wouldn't be going near them but the truth of the matter is they're fantastic 